to the Eastern Cape exhibition and I'm Renelle Wright and this is I'm Benedetta and um, I'm the owner of Life is Great and we're going to tell you today a bit about the wines and the wine industry that we're dealing with and I'm giving it back to Renelle to start with this. There's so many things you can do with wine and so many tastings you can do. So we've come up with a lot of concepts. We spoke to wine farmers and wine makers and we can actually make you understand wine better in a fun way. So Benedetta, we do so many tastings over here in your shop. Um, what all can they come and look forward to? Okay, what, what we do at Life is Great, we like to keep varietals that um, is not at any other places that you'll usually visit to buy wine. So we like to experience and have people experience wine all the time because a lot of people only know like sort of one varietal, but there's so many out there. And we like to do pairings with all of these varietals, um, chocolate pairings, uh, uh, tea, remember the tea, tea pairings tea, we've yes. done? We've done a, a wonderful tea pairing with Bikinir. Yes, oh, and that was, the that. Rooibos, that was the Rooibos um, South African tea with yes. wine pairing. Yes. That was excellent. Yeah. We've done mm. biltong and, and popcorn and chocolate, uh, chocolate and cake. Ach, nougat and cake pairings. So there's so many things that one can do with wine and it becomes so interesting when you see the flavours of wine come out that one usually don't pick up if you if you don't know a lot about wine. I think many people are scared um, to if it comes to wine, yeah. yes. And so what they know is that's what they'll drink because they're scared that people might think that they're not clued up or exactly. clever enough. But it's such a fun thing always just to go with it and and try whatever. And, and it's not to say you're going to like it and it's not to say that you're going to smell um, the rose on the rosé, for instance, no? Exactly, so, yeah. and it's, yeah, it's about getting your palate used to tasting more things and, and it's practicing your nose and your palate, and that's what the fun tastings are all about. Taste this, smell this, and, and it's really playing with your food and wine. Yes, absolutely, and um, as I'm saying, it's never serious, because it shouldn't be serious. It should be playful, it should be fun to, to have a good wine, and, and experience that wine. If you like it, you'll buy it. If you don't, you don't have to buy it. And this is why we do the tastings, is so that you can develop your palate and so that you can, can see what you like, mostly. Exactly. Please come visit us at our shop. Yes. You've tasted the wines at the expo and then come and visit us at the shop and, and we hope you're gonna taste much more and experience something different. And this is the only experience you're gonna have in the Eastern Cape. And together, Renal and myself, we run a program that we call um, Fun with Etiquette. So it's a side plate of fun that we actually call it. And it's just all about the etiquette on wine training, um, what you'll pay with your wines that you're drinking, your glasses that you'll use. Yes. And yes, and when you go to a restaurant, how to actually order one from the menu, how to select the wine that you'd like to drink. We all grow up so fast these days and schooling's different, education's different. We come from a lot of different backgrounds in South Africa and this gives us the opportunity to know exactly what you order with confidence, what you're going to like or think you're going to like and not hesitate. And also about the glasses, Benedict. Mm. So, okay, so you, you get a red wine and then you get a white wine, for instance. White wine will always be smaller, your red wine will always be a little bit bigger. Thing is, when you're having wine, there's a reason why you don't touch your glass, and Renal will tell you why. You will have your wine like this. Why won't you touch it? Yeah, it's because obviously, first of all, you can warm up your white wine, and secondly, you can leave your finger marks on the glass and even the hand creams that you might have used or the soaps that will also linger on the glass so you you hold it at the stem any way you like you can find your own style that works for you and how elegant you want it to look yeah. so there's so many things to go out and be confident and just have fun and feel like you know it all by just having a few pointers from yes. us and i'd like to share one little thing with you we don't have wine in this glass now but if you ever want to swirl your wine, you're not going to do this because you are going to mess. You put your glass down, you put your fingers over it, and you do this quickly, and it swirls it, it airs it, 
and then you can smell and drink. So it's going to be a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of yeah. tasting. Yes. And at the end, it's education as well. Absolutely, but always with a side plate of fun. And today we're just going to have a fun tasting, so I hope you're going to enjoy yourselves at our stand today. And if you do enjoy it, please come and visit us at the shop and come and do more tastings with us. So, yes, in your glasses, you've got Overex wines. And this is very interesting because there's a story behind it. We've just had lockdown. We've had the COVID situation in South Africa. But the wine's called Survivor. And there's actually a very nice story about this cow. The cow, Blomiki, um, was on a truck and the truck transported them to be slaughtered. So that was in the Swatland, Malmesbury region. And Blomiki decided the truck stops here. So the cow jumped off with a few scratches and maybe um, a few bruises. And they discovered that the cow a few days later in a vineyard, alive and well and they decided to make a whole story out of this. So the story from the wine is Survivor. That's the cow Blomiki. It's an Nguni cow. So she still lives on the farm today in the Swatland and she's produced offspring. So the next range of wines that you're going to buy from Wiverex, you get the Survivor range and then you get the offspring. Of course, that's her children. So the Sauvignon Blanc um, is also from the Swatland region. The reason why they've taken these grapes from the Swatland region, it's small berries a lot of concentrated juice and we've also paired them with some interesting snacks and we're going to explain why it works. So the Sauvignon Blanc, it's wooded, so it's also from very low yielding um, vines, so you're going to taste that. The roots really go deep into the soil, it's older vines, so taste the Sauvignon Blanc, tell us what you think. And we've paired it with a spinach and feta quiche. And Benedict, um, we selected that just because of the greenery of the yes. Sauvignon Blanc and the spinach. Mm. And mm. Because Sauvignon Blancs are usually your green wines. Yeah. So, yeah, it will be grassy. Um, it's nice wine to have with fish or salads, anything that's green. Mm. So, yeah. So that Sauvignon Blanc really goes well with your pairing. You're welcome to take a bite, taste it. It's feta and spinach, and like we say, it should work well. And that's what we said earlier on. If you want to taste wine, kick off your shoes, enjoy yourself, play with your food and wine, and, and see if it works. If it doesn't work for you, we'll try the next one. And now we're going to play with the Cabernet Sauvignon. And, and dessert. And dessert, yes. <laughs> so we're going to throw it around. And Cabernet is not so spicy. Uh, Cabernet is sometimes leathery, sometimes earthy, uh, but an old favorite. And with this one we've decided to do some chocolate and nuts just to enhance the woodiness there and from the barrel. So you'll taste the chocolate, a little bit of the vanilla coming through in the chocolate. Also from the barrel. If you taste vanilla in these ones it's also mostly from the barrels and the maturation in the, in the barrel. So try the Cabernet Sauvignon, have a bite into the chocolate and see what you think. They use French oak and American oak and in some of these reds they've even used Hungarian oak as well. Mostly 300 litre barrels so it's not too big and the wine can really mature nicely and the reds about 12 to 15 months for the reds would it. The tastings at the shop is always fun. We try and incorporate fun items like chocolate. At the moment, we're using a certain chocolate that everyone can buy everywhere, but we usually use um, a Belgium chocolate maker in PE. Um, she does truffles for us when it comes to wine tastings. We did a, a wine tasting a long time ago, and we actually sat with her beforehand, before we had the, the wine and the chocolate together, to go through everything to match perfectly and it was such a fun evening. She made yeah. the chocolates to go exactly with, with the, wine. the wines. We would yeah. say to her, we want yeah. a Turkish delight flavour and yeah. she would do it. And we would say we wanted to bring out the lime in the Sauvignon Blanc and she would yeah. do it. And that was quite fun. We had a lot of yeah. chocolate that day. <laughs> yes. No, it was brilliant and it worked out brilliant. So we use her also salad chocolates. 
and um, then we do cheeses, you know, the, the, the breeze and all of those. And we do the we cured prefer, meats. We prefer the local cheeses and yes. also different cheeses yeah. with different yeah. wines. That is something we also yeah. want to so work on. So I do get um, um, burren carts in from Sitsikama. But so we've got local cheese people as and, also. And that we also to. that we do, the, the woodlands cheeses. And um, yeah, so we always try and keep it light and fresh and changing with the times. And then most importantly, what we are doing at the moment, we are trying also to get it off the ground to do, you get your wines with your tasting notes and your pairing and you can go home and invite friends and do it all by yourself at home. And come and get yeah. the bucket. We'll put it in a bucket for yeah. you, we'll package your whole tasting in a bucket yeah. and off you go with your own bucket. Yeah. Yeah. So. But thank you very much for joining us here today. We yes. hope you enjoyed the tasting and we hope to see you at our stand again or at the, the next wine show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much Cheers. everyone. Cheers. Cheers.